everybody, Terrence Pop here from Darklist.com with another episode from the Lair. Uh, today, you know, I got a headache, uh, you know, feeling under the weather, which happens a lot. Got a migraine, what are you gonna do? Uh, but today is Weapons Maintenance Day, and I'm uh, sharpening knives, swords, oiling up all everything. It's gotta be done. I usually do it every 90 days to make sure everything's good to go. A uh, good soldier always maintains his equipment, and if he doesn't, he might lose his life over it one day when it fails him, so don't be that guy. Got some uh, home, uh, homebrew scotch ale, 11% alcohol, uh, brewed somewhere around here in New York, and it's pretty goddamn good. All right, today I got a little bit of hate mail for everybody, uh, and, and I believe I have an opinion and a couple questions, so let's just dive into it. All right, here, number one, this is by somebody who hates my guts, which I absolutely love. Uh, uh, Mr. Pop, I have seen most of your work and have concluded uh, you are a male chauvinist pig, and you'd be correct. Uh, how dare you say such degrading things about women? You have two daughters. Aren't you afraid your children will be ashamed of you? You need to be shut down and your hate speech forever silenced. You are a warmongering, ignorant hate farmer. Okay. Well, one, I don't really preach hate. I just tell it how it is. I mean, go through there and, and, and you know, see if I said the word hate, like I hate this and I hate that, which applies to like women or feminism. Uh, I mean, I do dislike feminism. In fact, in my borderline on hate, but that is what it is. That's an organization, not an individual person. Hang on, I got a drink. Okay, I am a male chauvinist pig. Uh, some people call me an asshole, but Dennis Leary has the asshole uh, game all hemmed up for him, so I'm a dick, and I'm a dick by choice. And uh, that's a deployable inseminator carrier kit, works by hydraulics. Winning! Uh, let's see. Uh, da -da 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 -da. As, for, as for my two daughters, uh, I don't really worry about what they have to uh, think. I know they won't be ashamed of me, but uh, yeah, good shaming language, you know, what feminists usually do that shit. Again, I only speak the truth. I'm proud of what I do and I don't hide by any false names. And this is actually me here doing this. So let's see. As for uh, shutting my hate speech forever, so. I'm taking that as I should be killed. Well, um, I'm easy to find. Well, come and kill me if you want. Whatever you want, man, you better kill me quick and clean because usually I carry a gun and I'm pretty fucking good with it. And I'm even better with my fists. So, uh, little miss, uh, whatever your fucking name is, not gonna say it online. Thank you for the shaming language. You were completely and utter utterly irrelevant. Okay, this one is basically for me. I, you know, I get a lot of comments of guys who say they I, they wish uh, they saw my channel years ago, and uh, it sucks that it wasn't up years ago, and uh, they kind of got fucked over. I mean, I've been doing this about f five years, going into five years here shortly, and uh, I'm doing it to help the, the younger guys out there because the system is so stacked against you. The game is rigged. And, uh, you know, you're just walking down uh, an alley of fucking pain and abuse that'll last you the rest of your life most of the time. And uh, most men don't really come to this till roughly 34, 35, and that's usually when the big head overpowers the little head. And you actually start thinking about things a little more uh, logically without being uh, uh, clouded with testosterone, uh, I, which I fully understand. I was, you know, I was 22 myself at one point, and... You know, I, I did some pretty reckless shit, and I'm lucky uh, it hasn't caught up with me yet. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um, the best you guys can do is, you know, I'm sorry. You know, I wasn't around 10, 15 years ago, but, you know, I had to take the long way around. Uh, the best thing you can do is share these videos with your young brothers and sisters or the friends or the, uh, you know, friends' kids or nieces and nephews. You know, dudes are like 18 to 24, so you know, so they're at least warned that this shit is going to happen. Because these men today, you know, and I'm going to do a show on this down the road called High School Today. 
they're being taught all kinds of crazy ass bullshit and when they get into the real world they're gonna get fucking train wrecked seen it many many times because it's all fun and games until you have to cut a man down who hung himself the day after he lost his children somebody asked me what are some of the ways women should be treated now that they are basically equal to men in every single way well first of all this whole gentleman bullshit you should probably turn that off opening doors you know all that crap for these women i mean they're they're all equal so fuck them and another thing i find really weird uh if you're a dude and you're in the bar and you're running your motherfucking suck hole and uh you know if somebody gets offended they're gonna punch you in the face it's two dudes it happens all the time now women they run their mouth like that nobody does anything about it but now they're you know they're qualified to serve in combat so they should probably enjoy uh, a little at full combat speed action if you know what i mean you know they want to diarrhea mouth you it is what it is you know i'm not condoning violence but i sure as hell understand it and there's a lot of women out there who'll say oh you know that's not my feminism and i don't believe it well guess what women are allowed in combat that is now the law of the land you will be treated equally to men if that includes getting your ass kicked or running to the ground then so be it and uh maybe you don't support it but you remain silent so that is consent through silence so you can shut the fuck up here's another hate one here you'll love this one i saw some of your earlier videos fun with numbers and i found them offensive how can you state fertility windows are you a doctor <laughs> this is so sexist it makes me sick fuck you you piece of shit okay well i'm not a doctor i observe shit and uh i've read a lot of articles on fertility pregnancy and the whole deal so check this shit out um yeah the first fertility window was basically 16 to 28. in that window there is no goalie and two defensemen are in the penalty box serving majors so you can score a goal pretty much with your eyes shut hell the goalie from the other team can score a goal and that's about it so that's the first fertility window it's just common sense okay then you have 28 to 38 where things get dicey now if you're over 30 and you don't have any kids i can hear you from here your wax works is drying up and crinkling up it sounds like wax paper all right after 33 shit goes way down and it is what it is uh after 35 it becomes very dangerous to have a child for you and for the child and uh the, and then you move into the third fertility window is basically 38 to 48 and it's almost always medically assisted it's hard on the women it's hard on the on the child and a majority of preemie babies come from older women trying to have kids it is what it is and yet i'm not a doctor but i'm just telling you how it is and since when is it sexist to tell somebody the truth you don't want to hear the truth you want it watered down with political correctness well guess what in my book i call that lying by another name and i don't do that so fuck you okay what are some ways i should approach a relationship i'm young and want to try for a wife and kids all right i'm just gonna tell you straight up very risky not worth doing but if you're gonna go ahead and try it you need to follow a couple basic guidelines and i think i did a show on this so i'm probably gonna do one in the future but don't act any don't act different act the way you are and if she likes being around you the way you are and doesn't want to change you that's that's okay all right uh like you like what you like you don't want to have your fucking furniture fucking removed or you like to come home and watch tv for an hour and a half after you work you just have to get around that you know you don't tolerate her you know stuffing your fucking days off with bullshit learn how to say fucking no to her and be prepared to lose her okay if you can say no and not give a damn if she walks or not you basically retain your power and furthermore don't ever ever under any circumstances mix your finances even if you're married to her because those ladies they always pull uh 
you know, we're married, we're one, we should all just have one account. I put my money in there, you should your, put your money in there too. Well, maybe in the 1800s, but this is, you know, the 21st century, where women punch out on the three words, I'm not happy, no questions asked, they take half your shit and leave you on the street. If you, have, if you have a joint account with them, they clean that out, you're kicked out in the street and you don't have any fucking money and you have to live on somebody's couch. And this happens to men probably 80 to 90% of the time in a divorce. And if you don't have any friends around, guess what? You're gonna go buy a tent and stay at a campground until you can unfuck your life. And believe me, I've done that too, and that sucks balls. I think I covered that one pretty good. Let's see. Number six, how can I work with a producer who was married? Doesn't the truth bombs you drop interfere with his marriage? Number one, what he does is his own goddamn business. He doesn't work for me. He works with me, and we're partners in redonculus.com. He chose to get married. That's his business also. My particular philosophy is, uh, you know, one and done. If you want to get married, do it one time. If it doesn't work out, never do it again, because statistically speaking, to continue to get married is uh, basically insanity. You're doing the same thing and expecting different results. Uh, it's not gonna work out. Uh, I talked with his wife all the time and they have a young child. Both of them are super cool. Don't have a problem with them whatsoever. Uh, and, you know, you know, Blake, my producer, contributes basically half the content here. He comes up with all kinds of jokes. And he likes to word things in a way that, you know, normal people can understand. Because when it's just me and I'm talking pop speak, it's very military heavy. And uh, usually only military people get it. And uh, since only one quarter of 1% of the general population goes into the military anymore, that's a very small subsect, so there you go. Uh, okay, I'm glad I saw your video on the friend zone and I pulled my head out of my ass and cut away three women whom friend zoned me years ago. Thank you. Let's see, how do I recognize when I'm about to be friend zoned again? Well, one, if you meet a woman and you're interested in her, you will know relatively quickly if it's, if it's mutual, okay? Uh, if it's not, you know, you can try to test the waters for a little while. Maybe she's on the fence of uh, getting into a relationship with you. I'd give it maybe two, three, four weeks tops. After that, you know what? If it's not working out, just sever it clean. You know, button up the sub and dive, dive, dive. Don't answer text, phones, none of that shit. Uh, because uh, being in the friend zone is fucking humiliating. You know, I mean, when my younger days, I got friend zoned quite a few times. And, uh, you know, after a while, I just said, this is fucking stupid. Because they want to hit you up for resources. They want to burn up your time. Uh, they ask you all kinds of crazy shit. And then they complain about some dude, some Neanderthal fucker who's uh, banging the shit out of her. Because, you know, that's what she wants. And you're the nice guy. And you just sit back and watch. I was much younger when this fucking happened, like in high school, but yeah. So you don't want to do the goddamn friend zone. So if it's not working out and you're not feeling after four weeks tops, just cut away, man. Just cut away and they can fuck off. Okay, here, this is kind of disturbing here. Um, this is from a dude. I don't know, he's probably being honest, which is fine, I don't care. Uh, but it says, he said, did you know that many of the MRAs and the MGTOW communities think you are a worthless piece of fuck. How do you cope with that? Well, number one, um, I really don't care. I don't care, comma, so what? Uh, number two, uh, other people's feelings about me do not define who I am. Because uh, the minute you care what people think about you, you will forever be their slave. So they could fuck off. Um, and also, I'm, I've done this mission because I've noticed that the, you know, the men's rights movements, they fragment real easily over stupid bullshit. Like women, they can have two or three, four or five thousand people show up for some of these stupid fucking rallies, which are relatively unimportant. But men, especially MRI, MRIs can't get that kind of turnout. And... Uh, I mean, they're doing one of the most egregious things you can do to another human being, and that is taking away your children. 
So, you know, it's probably all this division that's going on that's keeping these men from, you know, ganging up into one group. So I'm trying to do that with comedy, okay? And uh, when you're the comedian and you're talking the trash, there's no room for personal feelings. Uh, I really don't care what they have to say to me. I'm easy to find. They can come say it to my face. And if they want to have a fist fight, I can do that too. You know, if, as long as you uh, don't want to sue me for fucking damages because I'll probably fuck you up. Okay, some people are pissed about this dude named Sticks that got mentioned in one of my past videos. Okay. You know, I, w I watched some of his stuff. He appears to be a good dude. Uh, I went to his Facebook page. I introduced myself and apologized. But to be fair, um, there will be, this will happen again, and it'll probably happen many, many times because nobody is, you know, free from getting bagged on, and a lot of people are going to get crushed under the tracks. Ridiculous, you know. And I'll handle all those on a case-by-case -case basis, but. As for moving forward, I'm not going to handle anything with kick gloves, and there may or may not be friendly casualties, and I'm sorry. I don't know. He, he, this is a, if, When I read this, you're going to think we're back in fucking high school. Okay, you're a D&D playing loser. I did play D&D for quite a long time, basically from 13 to roughly 33. I stopped after I got back from Iraq. It just, you know, it changed my whole life. Uh, your videos are shit, and you're a coward. Okay. Uh, how can you? How can such a dweeb have thirty-four thousand worth of subscribers? Go cry. Go cry to your mother, you mama's boy. Okay. Uh, coward. That's a fighting word, man. That's that's uh, calling a dude like me a coward is not really uh, in your your best health. I suited up uh, for uh, three wars and was almost killed in two and did several operations which will never kiss the pages of history. I've been almost killed many times in all kinds of crazy fucking tactical operations and or crazy accidents that happen when thousands of people are maneuvering around in a closed area in the pitch dark. So uh, your definition of me being a coward in that regard is uh, invalidated. If you're referring to me being a coward because I, you know, I'm hiding, you know, my face and name, I'm the real dude here, you know, Terrence Pop, this is my show, I'm talking on the fucking video, I'm easy to find, so you can come say coward to my face, and we'll see how that works out for you. Uh, in regards to 34,000 worth of subscribers, you know, with the quality of the videos that me and my producer put out, we should have way more than this. And I uh, believe there's some foul play going on in regards to YouTube. And I'm hoping that the 34,000 34, people that I have now, I mean, if each one of those guys sent my videos out to 10 people and recruited, my numbers would go up astronomically. Because uh, I've noticed that we're losing people or people are contacting me saying, hey, you know, I subscribe to you, but I haven't got the last five or six notifications for your videos. What's going on? Well, you know, uh, YouTube is playing games in regards to that. So Redarkulous is moving out to many other platforms all over the world. Uh, so in one way or another, you'll be able to see these videos. They might not be as high quality as they are on YouTube but they will still be there. As for going cry to my mother, my mo you're a mama's boy. Okay, well, I was raised by a single mother and I walked one hell of a road uh, to get here to where I am now because women do not raise good men. And the statistics of the 80% of men who are in prison now were raised by single mothers. Check it out in the Uniform, the uniform Crime Report for the United States of America. So, uh, that doesn't apply to me either. Uh, in my opinion, this is just a simple high school kind of attack. You don't have any substance to your arguments, and none of it really applies to me. So, with that being said, go fuck yourself. All right, that's Pop for me, uh, redonkulous.com from the lair. I'm going to sign off here and continue sharpening swords and doing weapons maintenance. So, you have a good evening.